Hi folks, Steve here at Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Sonic Light model 170BH. Brand new floor plans for 2023. It's a family unit. Uh, it's 22 foot 9 inch. It's actually the longest uh, Sonic Light in the lineup. It weighs 3630. It's got double bunks at the back, double over double. So there's lots of room in there. There is no slide out. So a lot of people like that. So was I. And uh, it's just a clever little floor plan. Lots of features on the Sonic, Sonic Light. Uh, one of the main one is uh, it has a one piece fiberglass roof from the front all the way to the back. So uh, there's no cross seam at the front, no cross seam at the back. They eliminated corners and by eliminating the corners, 90% uh, chance of water leakage. So it's a great way of building the trailer. They also make the roof bolt lengthwise. So when it rains, the water doesn't run towards the side seams and run towards the front and the back where there is no seam. So again, a great way to manufacture a trailer. Sonic, uh, Sonic, Sonic Light, a great little trailer to tow. They're very slanted. They're only seven and a half foot wide. So a traditional width is eight. So they took six inch off. You can't really see it inside and it just helps when you're towing it. It's also lower to the ground. So again, aerodynamics, uh, very well designed to be towed. Uh, like I said earlier, lots of features. So we're gonna go around at the front we have an electric tongue jacks comes with one 20 pounder but if you want uh, we can get you set up with two 20 pound tanks it's something we do in the shop regularly your battery will go on the rack here and the front we have a battery disconnect if you're not using it you can just uh, switch the flick to off and it's not going to drain the battery when you're not using your trailer there's a nice little stone guard the beautiful front windows we're going to get to see that when we are inside the trailer we have patch restores at the front, slam latch handle, magnetic holder, and uh, as you can see, there's a motion detector light on the other side. Coming along this side, detachable power cord, your city water field, outside shower with hot and cold. We have two gray tank on this trailer, folks. So one of them is here at the front. 15 inch tires on aluminum wheels, black tank flush, city water connection and we have an extra storage compartment underneath the bunks it's huge four caesar jacks at the back cable satellite ready another access to that extra storage now you can see uh this little trailer still need a bath before it goes back in the yard so you're really seeing it the way it was delivered it's ready for a backup camera all led lights including the tail lights for all exterior lights, including the tail lights or LED. We have our spare tire and cover right here. It does come with a little outside kitchen. <clears throat> you get a griddle and a fridge. <clears throat> Water heater runs on gas and electrical. Outside speakers. Electric awning with LED lights. Large foldable entry handle. Power outlet and cable outlets in case you decide to bring a little TV outside. Uh, doggy shoulder bottle opener. The new very solid steps that everybody likes. If you notice, it's only a two-stepper. So when we talked about the height earlier, uh, we get to see that on the steps. Normally, you'd be getting an extra step to get in. Uh, Self-closing screen doors. You can see the little elastic here. And new this year, they had the screen defender. So it's for your pet. So they won't run through the screen door of your trailer and again access to the front storage on the interior i'll start right at the front so we have it is a murphy bed it is a queen size 60 by uh, 74 by 60 across so it's width of a queen at home the length of a double uh, so they consider that and or they call it if you prefer a, an rv queen uh, the front windows, it's got a blind, there's a power outlet and a USB outlet. Shirt closet on each side. I like the fact they actually cut the shirt closet. They leave a gap in the back. You can put uh, your CPAC machine, the book you're reading, a glass of water, your reading glasses, whatever it is. Uh, in order to make the bed disappear, which you don't really have to if you're, uh, if you're outdoor campers, you can leave this down. But uh, if the weather's not very nice and you want to put the sofa up, all you need to do is to fold your mattress. And by the way, folks, you can leave your pillow. You can leave your blanket. You can leave your topper if you choose to put one on. Just fold. 
and fold this little portion right here and fold the whole thing up. And there we go. And then basically unfold the sofa. There is storage underneath, as you can see. Now, the inconvenience with this trailer is that they didn't really have room for a dining area. Uh, so it is, the, the, the dining section of it is where the sofa is. It does come with a freestanding table. So if this is a big thing for you, personally, we eat outside all the time. Our trailer is used for sleeping and, and getting ready in the morning. So for me, that wouldn't be a, a, an issue at all. But if it is, then perhaps this is not the floor plan. The 169 VUD would be more uh, the trailer for you. But the bunks are smaller. So uh, it does come with a TV right here on the mount. This one comes with a gas electric fridge. It's a seven cubic foot. It's huge. For such a little trailer, it's got a very large fridge. There is a skylight. Kitchen-wise, it's uh, more than adequate. There's a very deep stainless steel sink, single bowl, two burner stove, cutting board, range hood, vented outside, folks. Lots of storage above. You should be able to fit absolutely everything you need to go camping in these cupboards. A little bit more storage below. Your drawer is a plywood made, ball bearing hardware. The whole drawer comes right out. Convection microwave, so it does both. It's a microwave and it's an oven, so you can cook a chicken or warm up the one from the night before. At the end, we have uh, a charge controller in the corner, a switch for awning, and a couple of light switches, a power outlet, and a 12 volt outlet. Now, on this wall, thermostat for uh, your furnace. Uh, Level Mate Pro, this is a little uh, device that's added. You don't load a free app on your phone. This thing's going to talk to your phone. It's going to tell you when the trailer is level, side to side and front to back. So a nice little aid into making sure your trailer is level. We also have a docking for another system that um, it's pre-wired for it. This is uh, for the tire link. It's uh, designed to monitor the tire pressure in your tires. You need to buy the parts that comes here. Again, it will talk to your phone and let you know one of your tire is low on here if and it's the case. Now, uh, on the way to the back, we have this huge storage closet with shelf. So you can put a lot of stuff in here. One side could be used as a pantry, the other side could be used for the kids' clothes or whatever. Another one here. Right beside, we have an AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, HDMI. It does it all. It works very well. I like that. And the bunks at the back, 48 by 88, and they can handle 500 pounds. They both have a window and a light. And the bathroom, it's complete. Nothing is missing here. We have a porcelain foot flush toilet. We have a nice size vanity, stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet, shower. Uh, yeah, absolutely nothing's missing. Lots of lights. There's a skylight. There's a motion detector light. There is a power fan as well. It's all here. And your control for your water heater here, your water pump, and monitoring the level in your tanks. So gray, black, and freshwater tank. So folks, again, 22 foot nine, that's including the tongue, just a little over 3,600 pounds. It's a great family unit. The one that likes to go camping that are more outdoor oriented, this would be the perfect trailer. But if you feel you really need a dining, we have that trailer as well in the yard in the same light. It's called the 169 VUD. Folks, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Better yet, stop by. I'll be happy to show you. Thanks for watching.